Yes, yes, we're here today at Les Schwab. You know, you see Les Schwab. I love coming to this place because I drop off my trailer, my truck, everything. They take care of everything. Today we're doing maintenance. We have maintenance today of the trailer. We had to get our trailer maintenance. We had to get our trailer tire maintenance, like I said. We had a slow leak in one of our tires and we had to get that taken care of. And you know, we dropped off the trailer this morning and just like that, it was done. Just like that, they found a nail in the uh, back tire that made, you know, it very low because the trailer tires are supposed to be 80 PSI. And when I checked it the other day, it was 35. And I said, whoa, we got a problem. Because I'm trying to tell you, these trailers, once you let the tires go bad, if one tire goes bad, it's going to throw off the other tire. And you're going to have all tires. And if you got to get new tires on your trailers, it's going to cost you a little bit of money. I'm trying to tell you. My tires, the 10 poly upgrade commercial tires, it's almost $1,200 for my tires on my trailer. I'm trying to tell you then that then those dealership tires it came with, uh-uh, we don't use those. We replace those tires and put those commercial grade, like the garbage truck tires or, or the big rig tires. That's the type of tires we do with that thick top layer, not the round top layer, the square thick top layer. And just like that, you know, like I tell you guys, make sure you maintenance your trailers. That once a year, maintenance your trailers. If you see something wrong with the tires, maintenance it. Check your batteries, check your cables, check the tarp, check your pulleys, check everything on that trailer before you go out because you don't want these trailers taking the shit on you when you're handling your business. So, you know, we got that done this morning. Now we're gonna go get our other trailer and bring it to the trailer specialist over here in my area to get fully, fully greased. I need the bearings. I need the uh, uh, the axles. I need the bearings to be re-greased and taken out and repacked. I don't want to just I don't want it just to be greased. I want it to be repacked and then greased and then installed. Take it all apart, then put it all back together. And I want every part of that trailer to be to be you know lubed up and have grease added to everything, to the hydraulics, to everything, to the doors, everything that you can put grease at where it has a little nipple. Put grease. I can do it myself. But I'd rather have the professionals do it, so I don't gotta get all dirty, you know what I mean, and do it myself. I just, I'd rather have the time. Plus, it's a write off for the business. So, you know, just like that, we got this trailer done. We're gonna go get the other trailer. Today is all about maintenance for the trailers, taking the time out of work and maintaining the trailer and maintenance on the trailers. Because these things are the money makers. If these things are not running, you can't make no money. I only could do so much with the no limit truck. But, you know, we'll get back at you. Make sure you like and subscribe. And, you know, follow us. Leave us a comment, you know. And uh, trailer maintenance today. We'll get back at you. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So now we are picking up OG trailer number one. You know what I'm talking about? We got, oh, we got no limit trailer. No limit trailer number two. Just got back from the shop. We just got all of our tires checked out, rotated. And there was a, a nail in this tire, so we had to get that patched. And we got all of our tires rotated and, you know, maxed to the 80 PSI. So, you know, this trailer is good to go because you don't want these tires to be going bald or, you know, anything wrong with these tires. Because this this trailer can take a shit on you and you will be so upset. And if it's hot and if it's a hot day, woo wee. But this trailer is so new that we don't have to get it greased up yet. But now, OG trailer number one, we've had a year now. So, you know, we got to get all of the door is greased see these little nibbles i did it before myself but we got to do all of them we got to go all the way around get everything greased up you know everything re-greased we're gonna get the we're gonna get the bearings we're gonna we're gonna get the bearings repacked and greased you know what i mean and tires rotated everything's gonna get greased up Ev hey big bird everything's gonna get greased up even our even our tarp system is gonna get greased up our hydraulic a uh, 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 lift is going to get greased up and we most important people don't realize that you have to get this cleaned up you know get all this cleaned up get all this cleaned up you know we're going to drain our our hydraulic fluid and, and get new hydraulic fluid in and we're going to flush that we're going to flush out this old fluid and get all brand new fluid just like that you know what i mean but i think the fluid is good still don't get me wrong i think the, the fluid is still good but every year just get it flushed get new transmission i mean get new hydraulic fluid in there so you know if there's any debris in there if there's any debris in there or anything in there little silver little little uh, little bit bits of metal whatever 
get all that flushed out so you have everything flowing hydraulic lines are flowing flu uh, 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 bright with just fluid we're gonna get our, our our you know hoisting lifted and we're gonna get that you know what i mean greased up we're gonna get everything greased up all of our wiring is going to get greased up also our emergency brake the emergency brake uh wire uh snapped so we're gonna get a new emergency brake wire uh, uh replaced and you know we're just gonna get a full tune-up on og trailer no limit og trailer number one so he's gonna get a full tune-up today he's gonna get you know what i mean right now when it's slow invest into your into your situations and you know put some money into these things and you know i'm trying to tell you because I, I need my things to run right all the time not every time all the time so you know we're gonna get all these things greased and you know they'll even if you see my doors you see my doors right here how one of them is kind of lifted this one's higher than this one you see you see because i bent them because i bent my doors at the uh at the uh landfill i left one of my doors open when i was lowering it and it went Krrr. but you know there's another big bird what's up big bird we got a bit of, we got him. you know how much attention he gets when people are behind me and they see the big bird and it is and he's waving at them you know and then they're going to see that number so you know everything's going to get checked out all the wiring even the brakes the brakes are going to get checked out too you know what i'm saying so you know we're going to go check out the brakes because there's brakes in there you gotta get those brakes done too you know what i mean so you know people get these trailers and don't think that you know i don't need a maintenance that stuff yes you do you need a maintenance those brakes in there you, uh, the bearings need to be greased and repacked not just greased but they got to be taken out repacked and then put in some places will take those old uh, packed bearings and take them out and replace them with a brand new pack and grease it that's what i like so you know there's so many maintenance things that you got to do with your trailers don't hesitate don't lag because i'm telling you these trailers will take a shit on you quick when you least expect it i was driving a few weeks ago and i seen some guy's trailer one of his one of his wheels locked up so he was driving and this thing was burning rubber because it was locked up he was dragging it and i was like because they're not greased they locked up they seized the brakes the brake the emergency brake or something seized up because he didn't check it out you take your time you know what i mean and go go check it out the littlest things will get you. So, you know, we're going to go to the trailer shop. Come roll with us. Be with us. And we're so happy you're here today to experience this and see what we're doing and how we do it. So, you know, some more, some more knowledge for you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And, you know, some more knowledge and some more game on how we handle our business here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. We show you the real deal here. We show you everything we go through. We don't just show you, you know, how to make a thousand dollars in one day or, you know, what's best for your we show you real deal holy field you know what i'm saying we are probably one of the most realest channels who show you real deal real deal live events we show you what we go through you know but that's what we're doing today you know make sure you know support the movement man subscribe watch the videos let's do this yes yes we have another goal we want to reach a thousand subscribers now and four thousand watch hours yes yes we have a goal and i know all of you out there are going to help me reach it because you guys all show me love and i love all of you guys out there we'll get back at you this is mr yay yay yes yes so we're here in vacaville at the trailer sales you probably seen it off Highway 505, but we got the truck and trailer here. We just dropped the trailer, so you know, the trailer, we're gonna look at this spring. I think this this spring right here has to be replaced. This spring, because you know, it's not allowing it to do what it's supposed to do as far as hooking into the teeth right there. So we're gonna get that looked at. We're gonna get all of the nibbles degreased. We're gonna get the, we're gonna get the uh, tires rotated and degreased and packed and when i say these 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 polys do you guys see how thick that top is do you see how thick that top is right there you see how thick that top is right there these are commercial grade like i tell you guys what are these 10 polys but these are the big boys right here that the that the you know the garbage trucks use and let me show you guys what the trailer came with you know the trailer came with stock from the dealership i don't like using dealership tires because trying to tell you look how rounded these are this is a dealership spare tire but you see how round that is there's no thickness like the other one is. but look how round that is see see what i'm talking about see that thickness see that thickness 
You see, see how thick that is right there? See how thick that is right there? You know, when I try to tell other, when I try to tell other haulers, get tires like that, they laugh at me. But now I see other haulers doing it. So, you know, game from Mr. Yee Yee. And you know, we're gonna get the bearings, we're gonna get the bearings repacked and re-greased and you know, rotate the tires. And uh, we're gonna check the tarp, we want the tarp to be right. And we're just gonna, you know, cap off all the things that need to be greased, all my caps. Everything needs to be greased. Your tarp has to be greased. Your tarp has to work right. This whole pulley system, this whole tarp situation has to work right. So that's what we're here. You know what I mean? I'm gonna. I thought I. I thought I had to get my hydraulic fluid uh, changed, but if your hydraulic fluid is not leaking, you never have to change that. I was just told. So you learn something new every day. So we're not gonna touch the hydraulic fluid, but you know that's a blessing. So they're gonna go all around it and see what's going on. But I thought I had to change my hydraulic fluid, and they said as long as it doesn't leak. It's, last, it's supposed to last a lifetime. So, bam, there you go. You learn something new every day. But we're over here at Vacaville Trailer Sales. You know, come give them a holler. If you got something need, you need something done with your truck or trailer, you know, your trailer, they do everything here. So, you know, just a little game from your boy, Mr. Yee Yee, hooking you guys up. We're doing trailer maintenance today from both our trailers. You seen earlier how I got the other trailer fixed with the, uh, with the uh, patch and just like that you know we're taking care of our trailers getting them ready for that summer wave of work and just like that you know we just dropped it it's ready to go and we'll be back come get it later on and you know big bird's gonna watch after them and show them what's up you know what i mean and you know we're gonna get everything done and looked at and you know trailer maintenance today is so important to do a walkthrough make sure all your shit is right make sure your tires right make sure everything's running right now we're gonna go and now we're off to home depot I mean Lowe's. We're gonna show you what's going on at Lowe's. We'll be back. Yes, yes. You're with Mr. Yee Yee again today. Yes, yes. Vehicle and trailer maintenance today. There's that big boy. There's that big boy. There's that bow tie. You know what I mean? We'll be back. We'll get back at you. Yes, yes. And now we're here at Lowe's getting our death fluid for the vehicle. We also have to fill up our death fluid and make sure everything is right because you got those diesels. You gotta have that death fluid also. So it's one thing about having a diesel, I gotta fill up my death fluid. In my area, I don't have a gas station that has a death uh, 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 fluid pump. I wish our gas station had a death fluid pump. I've been in several spots around, you know what I mean, Northern California, where they have gas stations that have also death pumps. Wish we did have one, but anyways, it's all good. I buy a few boxes of these every time. So, you know, when it gets halfway, I put another box in. So I already know what my truck requires. Every time my truck gets half on, halfway filled up on death fluid, I put another box and boom, my tank is full. So, you know, just another inside. You're, you're with your boy over here at Lowe's. You know what I mean? No limit hauling and junk removal. You're with your boy, Mr. Yee Yee again. Vehicle and trailer maintenance today. And you're riding with your boy today. We'll get back at you. Yes, yes, Mr. Yee Yee. Out of that. Big seven. Yes, yes. So, you know, it's even truck maintenance. You know, my truck, this truck got the, you know, this truck got the, the diesel and the death fluid all in one right there. So, you know, time to fill it up. We got a couple boxes of the death. And, you know, today's all about trailer and truck maintenance handling your business and you know we got to have these toys running right i'm trying to tell you you know what i mean you know handle your business take your time and make sure your shit is right because you know there's so many haulers i see all the time that are broken down and going through some situations and it's like you know whose fault is that it's your fault because you didn't take your time and inspect your vehicles, inspect your trailers, and show some love to your trucks and trailers and vehicles because they're the ones bringing you to work back and forth and doing everything that you need them to do. So why not show them so much love? I show my vehicles and my trailers so much love, it's ridiculous. I baby these vehicles and trailers sometimes so much, but hey, they bring us, they reward us back. So it's like, you know, I scratch their back and they scratch my back. And you know, you're learning today, you know, death fluid, for the diesel and you, and you can hear that diesel and you hear you hear that diesel in the background it's that duramax baby that's that 1500 automatic 10 speed right there baby you know what i mean we ain't playing we'll get back at you look at that qr code so when people can see my vehicle they come into my vehicle take a picture of the qr code boom done there you go straight to my website and then cta call to action bam we'll get back at you yes yes Yes, yes, and just like that, 
We are adding the death fluid. Easy peasy. See, I'm showing you guys everything today that I do. I do my own maintenance on these vehicles if I could. Trust me. Trust me. But you know, we're putting that death fluid in there that is drinking. It's drinking. You hear that? You hear it gobbling it up? Make sure if you have this, you put it in the blue cap. It's got to go in the blue cap. If you put that in the green, in the green one, ooh-wee, I feel sorry for you. But you know, we'll get back at you. We're putting death fluid in it. It's just like that. That's just how easy it goes. It goes just like that. We'll get back at you. This is your boy Rudy from No Limit Hauling. You know, vehicle maintenance, man. You're going to last a long time. Look, it just drank this. It, it, it drank this whole box. Just like that. It drank the whole box. Just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So, let's go. Let's go check. Let's go. Let's go check. Now, let's go check the death fluid, what it says in here. Let's just see what it did in there. Let me see what it did in there. I don't look like, I don't look like it did nothing right there. It looks like it didn't do anything right there. Let's turn, oh, 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 did you see how it just popped up like that? You see how it just popped up? There you go. So now we're gonna leave the other box empty. I mean, we're gonna leave the other box full because I don't like to add death fluid until it gets halfway. When this thing gets halfway, that's when I know I need another box. But yes, yes, you're with your boy, Mr. Yee Yee, and we're, we're showing you straight game today. We'll get back at you. Yes, yes. Okay, so we're at home, you know, sitting on our butt, chilling, relaxing. It's 90 degrees out here in Northern California. The sun is out and the jobs are coming in. I'm trying to tell you, what. But you know, we got that call. You know, a client reached out to us after seeing us on social media and said hey can you come out can you can you do a real quick uh sleeper sofa pickup i said absolutely you know i'm not doing nothing you know what i mean of course i want a bigger job of course we all want the bigger jobs and the bigger money no problem but you know what you do a little pickup like this for a nice little price and guess what this person's always going to call you but you know this person might got it for the nice price right now but next time I come, trust me, I'm a... But you know, if I'm sitting at home not doing nothing, waiting on my trailer to be picked up, because you see, today's today was just trailer and truck maintenance. But I'm not going to sit at home and not do nothing. If a car comes in, that's how available I am. Boom. About to go get this real quick money right now. All that money adds up. It's Monday. Come get all these little pickups. Come get all these pickups. Come get everything. Stack everything up. It's Monday. Stack it up all week and let's go. Let's get money. It's here. It's beautiful weather. It's sunshine. Let's go, baby. This is your boy, Mr. Yee Yee. Just letting you guys know how we do it. You know what I'm talking about? We doing it just like this. We do it this way, that way, every way. And you know, there's no limit to our grind. But... Uh, We'll get back at you because we're going to go pick up this nice little sleeper sofa. And just like that, a new client, another job. And guess what? I'm going to tell this client, you know, for this price I'm doing it for you for, I better get the Google review right in front of me. Watch this. We'll get back at you. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're here. Beautiful backyard. We just got that sofa out of the apartment, or out of this house already, just like that. And, you know, we're going to grab our wheels and... Truck and trailers here, you can get the wheels and go tackle that sofa sleeper. Just like that, easy money. We'll get back at you. Here we are with this client. We just picked up her sofa sleeper and her uh, uh, chair. No problem. We did it. And you know, we did it. Just one guy, one truck, one trailer. No problem. We'll get back at you. Just like that, this job is done. Sofa sleeper, chair, loaded with the hand truck just like that all by myself just like that that's how easy it's done real quick money the sun is here jobs are coming in and just like that this job is done loaded and ready to go we'll get back at you make sure you like and subscribe yes yes mr yee yee furniture pickup just like that oh boy oh boy so yes yes so we just left that job then we stopped by the trailer store you know to check on the og trailer number one because he's like in the hospital right now getting a little checkup you know what i mean and uh he's not ready i thought he'd be ready today and i could show everybody out there you know uh how it bees and what they do to him and how they took care of him but you know 
I think you pretty much got the moral of the story today from seeing our trailer number two today getting its tires fixed, which we have right now with us. We have trailer number two with us right now because we just did a little small pickup and you know, it's so important right now to get all those little small pickups. Get all those little small pickups as you can right now. You know, handle your business. You know what I'm saying? It's so important right now to build up that clientele and let everybody know who you are because it's going to add up. I'm trying to tell you. Little clients going to keep on calling you and referring you and I'm trying to tell you. You're going to get more, more advertising. You're going to get more photos to put on your social media, to put on your websites. And, you know, it's all going to add up. But anyways, you know, we're not able to take uh, OG trailer number home today because he's still, you know, me. It's going to be a little bit more while, like another day or two before I get to pick him up. But, you know, I got a big job coming up this weekend, so I need old boy to be ready. So, you know, but the whole moral of the story is that, you know, you guys got to take care of, you know what I mean, your situations. Like, you know, you got a maintenance you gotta maintenance your trucks, your trucks, your trailers. You gotta keep these things up to date. It ain't about just working every day, working every day, working every day, and then fixing something when it breaks down. Because if you fix something when it breaks down, it's gonna break down on you at the wrong time. And I know there's some haulers, there's some lawn care people, there's some other businesses, guys watching me right now. Yeah, you. You didn't have a truck or two break down on you. You know what time is it, you know what I mean? You know, and that's just it, you know. Uh, uh, we believe in maintenance our vehicles, maintenance our trailers. I keep all paper, paperwork and documentation for my uh, truck and trailer. Every time something gets maintenance, I keep all documentation. Because at the end of the year, when I do my taxes, you know, that's a, another a, a situation right there that I got to bring up on my taxes because, you know, I keep all my receipts for all my vehicle maintenance, everything I had to buy for the business, uh, maintenance for the vehicles, gas receipts, you know, food receipts. I keep all my receipts. I even have paper invoices. A lot of people are like, you still use paper invoices? I say, yeah, I use paper invoices and I use a, 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 a app invoice. So when people ask me for a so when people ask me for a real quick invoice, I can send it to them through an email. I have an app that I pay eight bucks a month for. You know, it's called Truly, Truly app, Truly. Got the app and it allows you, you know, eight bucks a month and you can send invoices, get invoices. There's so many other different options on that app that I use. But you know, anyways, it's about, today's video is about, you know, maintenance and taking care of your shit. You know what I mean? Take care of your things so they can take care of you and keep on getting more and more money. I see so many haulers, so many guys broken down on the way to the dump, inside the dump, because they don't take care of their stuff until they have to. Then it's a problem. Then it costs even more money. As I'm inside of this uh, a, a trailer repair place, trailer sales, right there in Vacaville, California, trailer sales, you know, Vacaville trailer sales, I'm seeing so many uh, 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 trailers in there that, you know, have to be welded, have to be this, have to be that, need all new axles, need this, need that. And I'm just like, take care of your shit, take care of your stuff, take, take care of your investments. They're your investments. If you buy cheap, you're going to get cheap results. That's just it. We're going to do a whole new video. We're going to do another video on uh, should I buy brand new or should I buy used? We're going to do a whole video for you guys out there and show you guys, should I buy brand new or should I buy used? What should I do? I, 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 I know some of you already know what you should do, but some of you guys are like, you know, getting into this business right now and still new to this. And, you know, as I am myself, but, you know, should I buy new or should I buy someone else's problems? For me, there's no category for that story. I'm going to tell you just like that. You know what I mean? Me, personally, we're going to make another video on that. Should I buy new or should I buy used? And, you know, but anyways, to go back on this topic, you know, take care of your stuff. Do vehicle inspections. Do walk-arounds. Check your oils. You know what I mean? That's just it, you know. 
that's it. You know what I mean? A lot of people are on here talking crap about death fluid. Yeah, yeah, death fluid. You know, restrict your motor or whatever you whatever. This is a truck. This is a work truck. I'm not trying to race this truck. This truck gets dirty. You know what I mean? And, you know, this truck handles business. This is possibly the best truck I ever had in my life. It possibly the best, the, the, the best car I ever had in my life because this truck makes me so much money. You know what I mean? My Corvette is beautiful too. But you know, that's just a little toy. But this truck makes me so much money. This, this truck makes me so much money and I'm so blessed. You know what I mean? I seen another hauler today, his video, and he's talking about his, he just bought a brand new truck and this and that and this and that and this and that. And you know, I'm more power to him. You know what I mean? I don't even think he's a hauler. He's a, he's, he, he's an all around business. He does everything anyways. But, you know, he bought a brand new truck and, you know, more power to him. There you go. Buy brand new. There you go. But he said he had a bunch of other trucks that he had and they gave him problems. There you go. There you go. You know, a lot of people are not ready to get in this business. They think that they can just get in this business, buy a truck, do this, do that. And it, and it works out for them. Some do. Some do. But then some don't because they trucks take a shit on them. And then there's those other haulers out there who say, ah, I don't care, I buy a new truck every year. If it takes a shit on me, no problem. I got this truck. I got that truck. I got this truck. If that one doesn't work, this one does, no problem, no problem. But guess what? That hauler who's saying that, that hauler who's saying no problem, this and that, he's been, that hauler has been in the business for a while, has a lot of capital, can afford to buy another used piece of crap and then park that other piece of crap. And then have a bunch of pieces of crap. So I'm just trying to tell you. You know what I mean? Be smart in this business. Be smart. And you know, being smart is so easy in this business. Just take care of your stuff. It's like, it's like you know, you might have some things at home that you just cherish. You know, you might have baseball, a, a autographed baseball collection. You might have baseball cards that you cherish. You might have all kinds of stuff that you cherish. You might just have this and that that you cherish. But you don't cherish your truck or your trailer that, that makes you so much money, that keeps you going. You know what I mean? Come on now. Come on now. You know, if you can't afford a brand new truck, if you can't afford a brand new trailer, you know what I mean? Make it happen. Work hard, put the time in, and make it happen. Because you're going you're gonna to feel so good when you buy a brand new truck and you get to have shit like this. You get to have the big, big 13-inch screen right there, another 13-inch screen, heated steering wheels, heated seats, leather, everything, you know, sunroofs. You can, I'm, I'm trying... I'm, I don't even got to explain to you. That's the other video we're going to get into. But, you know, you're going to, you know what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna to have to work your way up. And that's just it. Climb the steps. Climb the ladders until you get that black belt. Like I say, I'm a green belt. Oh, this is my, this is my uh, beginning No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal shirts. These shirts right here are the first shirts that I got when, you know what I'm saying? I let my wife design our shirts. <laughs> but anyways, you see our other shirts. I designed those, but you know, these are, I'm wearing my dry fit long sleeve. It's 90 degrees out here today and I'm wearing my dry fit long sleeves. No problem. I recommend, I'm trying to tell you, if you guys get work shirts, make sure they are dry fit, dry fit. I'm trying to tell you, if you, if you get cotton shirts, you're going to have cotton hair. You're going to have cat hair. You go in these houses. We got, we got dust balls, moth balls, cat hair, dog hair. You got everything. See how we just picked up a, see how we just picked up a, uh, a, a sleeper sofa and a chair. It had dog hair all over me, but look at my shirt. I ain't got no dog hair on me. And I did it all myself with the No Limit truck and No Limit trailer number two. And now we're starting to stack our jobs up this week, you know, and we're going to start stacking that trailer up and getting, and getting this money and stacking all these jobs up, stacking all these jobs up in that trailer, you know, and that's just it. You know, but again, the moral is take care of your stuff, guys. You know what I mean? Come on now. It's that easy. Take some time. Do some oil changes. You know what I mean? Check some spark plugs. Do what you got to do because summertime is coming. You don't want them, you know, do a radiator flush. You don't want these type of things to be breaking down on you because you didn't spend a few hours handling your business. 
I'm trying to tell you. You know what I mean? If it comes out the pocket, then it comes out the pocket. You know what I mean? For some of us who are too legit to quit, it's business expenses. You know what I mean? When you get to that level, trust me, business expenses, appreciation. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be writing down all these miles, writing down all these miles. Because a lot of people are like, yes, 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 I got this truck. I'm going to ride this off the whole year. Oh, are you? Oh, are you? You know what I mean? I hope you're very much educated to the IRS and how they work about riding your truck off the whole year. You think you could just write off all your payments all year? Your whole payments? Especially if you have those trucks that are high payments, you think you're just going to write that whole truck off all year? Every single payment? Okay, you're going to get a nice reality check when you go see your CPA or you, when you go to H&R Block or wherever you go. You're going to get a nice reality check. Especially if you ain't counting your miles and depreciation, you're going to learn. You're going to learn what you could write off and what you can't write off. And you know what you should and what you shouldn't. And you know, IRS just went up too with uh, with the miles per, with the cost per miles. I think it's like 64 cents now. Last year it was uh, 55 cents. And you know, it went up this year. So you, got, you better be on this game. I'm trying to give you guys game. You better be on this game. You know, learn your IRS situations. Go get you an accountant or go talk to an accountant so he can help you to get your stuff right. And then save up all year so when you go see your guy, you're good. I'm trying to tell you a little bit of game. But, you know, that's for that other video that I'm going to do. Should I buy a brand new truck or should I get a used truck? I'm going to put you guys on game about that. You know, I'm going to do, do a video, too, about IRS. And about, you know, uh, 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 how how do I get to write this off? How do I get to write that off? And, you know, how does this work? And how does that work? Let me show you guys how it works. And you guys, some of you guys are going to be amazed. Like, oh, damn. I didn't know it was like that. I thought it was we get to write off whatever we want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what you thought. But anyways, it's been a good day. We only had one pickup today, but we got a bunch of calls today. We got a bunch of calls today. Trust me, they're calling right now. But they're fishing. So, you know, that's another video, too, I'm going to put out. And, you know, but this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And, you know, moral of the story today, take care of your vehicles, guys. Take care of your truck, your trailers, your vans, whatever you have. Take care of it. Go get it serviced. Because the summertime is coming up and it's going to be busy. And you don't want to be paying no no maintenance bills. You don't want to be a truck or, or a trailer to be in a shop that has to be there for a week because it's slammed busy. And now you don't have a truck or trailer for the whole week. Because if you can't do the job, they're going to call me Mr. Yee Yee at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. And guess what? I'm going to be there to do the job. I'm going to come through with both of the trailers and take that money. Because you were slacking on your macking. Trying to tell you. You know, out here, out here in Northern California, the Bay Area, you know that big seven. Our lingual is a little different. You know what I mean? We talk a little different out here. But you know, as you could tell, I was cut from a different type of cloth. You know what I mean? I could sell chips to the Bellagio. You know what I mean? Snow to an Eskimo. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, there's so many there's so many slangs out here that we got. It's ridiculous. But you know, that's what makes us so unique. Just like all of you out there, you guys are all unique yourself. Everybody's special. Everybody's getting money. Everybody's God's child. And that's just it. You know what I'm talking about? You know, it's your boy, Mr. Yee Yee. No limit hauling and junk removal. We're going to be done for the day right here with this video. But you know, it is what it is. And we're going to catch you on the next one. You already know. There it goes. There it goes. Let's go, Mr. Yee. Yee.